Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 1st of 2021. Well, it is titled lunar halo over snowy trees. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see some trees off in the distance and some rabbit tracks leading around those trees as well as into the foreground here. And up in the sky, we see a very bright object, which is the second brightest object in the sky and the brightest object in the nighttime sky, which is, of course, our own moon. So our moon is the brightest object, of course, very close to us other than the sun in the sky. Now when we see the moon here, we actually see it through a cold night with a lot of ice crystals in the atmosphere and that causes what we call the lunar halo. So we see this halo around the sun, a circular halo caused by ice crystals in the atmosphere. So the ice crystals all have the same type of shape. And when they're lined up, the light entering and exiting them will bend by about 22 degrees, which is the which is the radius of the halo of the moon. So if we measured that on the sky, it would be about 22 degrees across, across in radius from the moon to one edge. And you can estimate uh, distances like this. And one measurement that can be used is that your fist held at arm's length subtends an angle of about 10 degrees in the sky. So there'd be about two fist lengths if you were looking at this in the sky between the moon at the center and the halo of the moon out towards the edges there. So it's a quick way to get estimates of angles is using your hand. It's one very easy way to do that. And in fact, there are other things that you can look at your pinky subtends about one degree, and your fist is about 10 degrees. And there are a few other ways that you can measure angular distances without having to carry fancy devices around. Of course, they're not perfectly accurate. But in general, people with larger hands will also have longer arms so it'll keep the relative size about the same so that you'll be able to use that as a rough estimate and you can see that if you do fist over fist you can go from the horizon up to the zenith straight overhead and that would take about 10 or sorry nine fists to get you there which would be 90 degrees so that is one way to be able to estimate those now we know roughly how the lunar halo is caused. But of course, one of the things we don't completely understand is how these ice crystals form and line up so well to give us things like the lunar halo. So some of these things even within our own atmosphere, we still try to better understand. So that was our picture of the day for February the 1st of 2021. It was titled Lunar Halo over Snowy Trees. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Meteor Streak and Drift. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.